I don't think I could ever be a nihilist because I have so many friends I believe in. They believe in me. I can never stop caring forever and ever when I see the bees buzzing around the flowers and their leaves. And I know I should probably be sick of you, Con, but I'm not. And I know I should probably be sick of you, Con, but I still get the feeling in my gut. Yeah, I still get the feeling in my gut. One, two, three. I don't drink, and it's not because I'm pretentious. I'm afraid of all the consequences. I don't smoke, and it's not because I'm cooler than you. I'm afraid of all the cancers, but I'm allergic to smoke too. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid to love, cause there's so many dangers, but I'm afraid I don't give a shit Cause what's the point in living If you can't go outside So I'm afraid I don't give a shit I don't need a couple beers To have a good time But I'm never gonna tell you Not to drink If that's what you like to do Cause I'm afraid of every single drug and I'll leave the room if you light up, but that's only because if I stay, I'll cough. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid to live, cause there's so many dangers, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I don't give a shit. Cause what's the point in living if you can't go outside? So I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I don't give a shit. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I don't give a shit. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I don't give a shit.
boys don't cry. I'm either too quiet or too fucking loud. I'm either alive or I'm six feet underground. I'm either too quiet or too fucking loud. I'm either alive or I'm six feet underground. With the beetles and the snakes. I'm probably just overreacting. I'm probably just overreacting. I'm probably just on the right. I'm either too quiet or too fucking loud. I'm either alive or I'm six feet underground. With the beetles and the snakes.
telling me my number it is the only one you have memorized. It's been a couple of years since we last spoke, but you're acting like it's only been a couple of weeks, so please tell me why are you calling me? One time you called me Abby, it hurt, it stung like a bee. The set up for a rejection I couldn't handle when I was 14. You're asking me, how's your family? How are they? How is your puppy? And your kitties, they're all right, but why do you want to know so late at night? You told me that I deserve to be happy, but I remember you telling me that you hated me, so please. Tell me why are you calling me? Okay. 